In this video, uh, I have another implicit related question. Uh, here we need to find out the dy by df of this uh, equation, right? And in this type of equation, uh, whenever you are going to find out the dy by dx, or you can say derivative of y with respect to x, and the first thing I told you, like, you have to differentiate both sides with respect to x, right? So first let's write our equation. Our equation is x cube y6 equals x plus y to the power 9. Now as uh, I used to say since many videos right let's differentiate both sides with respect to x. Now we will get uh, like uh, d over dx of x cube y6 equals again d over dx of x plus y to the power 9 okay so now in next step what we can do uh, we need to differentiate it and now see here like x cube times uh, y6 right so here x and x is going to match but here y and x is not going to match means x cube is one function and y6 is another function when one function multiplies another function we have to use the product rule so let's apply product rule here uh, let me suppose this is my first function and this is my second function so in that case what we have to do yes as we used to do like let's write first first function and then derivative of second function again second function times derivative of first function okay and in here look it is x but here it is not x plus uh, it's not x it is x plus y you know uh, we have something different here so since uh, here the base is different so we need to differentiate this whole function x plus y to the power 9 with respect to x plus y only so what we can do now here derivative of x plus y to the power 9 with respect to x plus y okay and since now 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 x plus y you know this this x plus y is not equal with x here you know this is not going to match here now you know so again this I, I mean to say here x plus y is another function you know uh, than the x than the normal x so again we need to differentiate this x plus y with respect to x so now we are going to get here x cube it is x cube and again as I said this is x and this is y it's not going to match so what we have to do we have to differentiate y to the power 6 with respect to y and again this y we have to differentiate with respect to x and then now y to the power 6 right and derivative of c here x and x is going to match so no problem let's use the power rule and according to the power rule it will be like 3 x and power will be reduced by 1 so 3 minus 1 that will be 2 and in this side again see this this base are matching here x like x plus uh, y and x plus y it's matching right so no problem and now let's apply power rule here so it will be 9 times x plus y and again power of 9 will be reduced by 1 it will be now 8 All right and now derivative of x plus y yes derivative of x like uh, there are two you know there are two things uh, 1 and then 2 so when you're finding out the derivative of x with respect to x you'll get 1 but when you're finding out derivative of y with respect to x you kind of differentiate you know actually it's y and this is x I mean you'll get something like this simply dy over dx okay now uh, what I used to say that wh whenever you have finished your all job then what's your next job yes we need to collect those all dy by dx places right at one time at, at one one side so before that we need to arrange it a little bit properly all right some steps are left here so it is x cube and y6 it is and y is here so I just have to apply a simple uh, power rule here so I will get uh, 6 y 5 times dy over dx right and then plus it is now 3 x square y to the power 6 and this is here it is uh, 9 x plus y to the power 8 because you know this 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 quantity will first multiply this one and then next step it will be this dy over dx and then plus uh, you're going to get 9x plus y to the power 8 times 
dy over dx now see in both side this pink colored con uh, objects you know uh, i'm going to say this part this this part is getting this dy over dx but here something is multiplying here and here also you have dy over dx so our next step is to put those dy over dx containing terms into one side so now it is already in one side so let let's let's take this whole quantity this whole quantity into this side okay uh, in the left side of the uh, uh, this uh, equals to so now what we are going to get we are going to get uh, 6x cube y5 dy over dx and now this is plus it will be minus 9x plus y to the power 8 dy over dx and now see let me take this 3x square uh, y6 into another side so I will get first let me write this one 9x plus y to the power 8 minus this will be now 3x square y to the power 6 now as I said you know our next step is to take this dy over dx dy over dx common so when I will take the common here you know what I will get dy over dx and in the bracket I will be left with 6x cube y5 minus 9 x plus y to the power 8 all right now this is finished and now this side if you uh, you, you you don't have any necessity to expand this whole all right so it is x plus y simply let me I'm writing this let me first write x plus y to the power 8 minus 3x square y to the power 6 all right and in next step I will this uh, this this whole thing I'll put it just below them you know just here I'll put it here because here they are in multiplication form and next side if they are going then it will be uh, dividing right so we have to actually uh, we need to write this we need to just uh, find out dy over dx so I'm just trying to separate dy over dx in one side so my dy over dx will be now 9 x plus y to the power 8 minus 3 x square y to the power 6 and then whole divided by this whole quantity right it is uh, 6x cube y5 minus 9x plus y to the power 8 and uh, fortunately this time you know 9 3 6 9 so we can take common from each step and if you do so you'll get dy over dx as uh, 3x plus y to the power 8 minus x square y square and then whole divided by from here also you have taken the 3 common so it will be 2 x cube y5 minus 3 x plus y to the power 8 from all side actually from here we took the 3 common and from here we took the 3 common if you take uh, from 9 if you take the th and here is that's it and uh, I hope you understand this uh, you can further elaborate if you want but there is no necessity to elaborate it and dy over dx question was asking and we find it out that's it right I hope you understand this and we'll be doing a couple of more problems of this type of implicit problem and I, I hope uh, you can easily uh, solve those uh, in future whatever you're going to get the problems in your exams or your question uh, you'll get in your test or normal UTs right I hope uh, uh, you understand. We'll be meeting the next video with another problem. Goodbye.